Hey, what's going on today, guys? This is AS Unreal with GamersUnite.com, and today I'm going to be playing a little game called Brawlhalla. Um, so, for those of you that haven't heard of Brawlhalla, it's very, very similar to like old style uh, Super Smash Brothers. You know, back when it was on the GameCube and all that. Um, I know they still they made a more recent one for the Wii U and all that, but it's very, very similar to that. It's one of those style games where you just pick your character and you go at it and fight. Um, the major difference to this is that each character in the game has two different weapons that they can use. Um, so unlike Super Smash Brothers, where everything is, for the most part, just hand-to-hand -hand combos or, or whatever the standard is for your guy. If you play like Meta Knight or something, he has a sword. Um, but it's, your combos don't really change that much. You can pick up items that help you. You can pick up like you know the big smash hammers and get power ups and whatnot to uh, do special moves. But in this game, the gameplay actually changes depending on what weapon you decide to use. Um, like I said, each character has two, and it differs for each person. So training. if I go into training here, you can see this is Bodvar, and he has. Um, as indicated by the the little icons in the uh, bottom right of his profile, he has a hammer and a sword. This lady has uh, guns and a and a hammer, um, and it just changes depending on who you play. Now each person might have uh, the same weapon. Like as you can see here, Azoth and Ember both have um, a bow and arrow, but their secondary weapons are different. So she has like the uh, <clears throat> the twin blades, and he has an axe. So your play style is, is definitely determined by who you pick um, because each player has different stats down there too that you can see where it's attack damage, attack speed, defense, <clears throat> sorry, and mobility. Um, so you also want to pick according to that um, and find who you like the best. Uh, the game also offers a 2v2 mode. So me and my brother tend to play a lot. He's very good at this game and I... I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm very good at this. I have been playing and I've been practicing, so I have gotten some skill with it. But you tend to pick um, a character that is different from <clears throat> whoever you're playing with when you're doing doubles. So, for instance, if he goes with somebody that has high mobility and low defense like Ember, I will go and I'll play somebody that's more tanky like Taros, where he also has high damage. He's not as mobile, but he has high defense. So... <clears throat> it kind of balances each other out. Sorry, I don't know why. <clears throat> I have to clear my throat so often here. Um, but yeah, each character has their own little move sets and things like that. So we can just get right into it here. One of my favorite characters to play is Core, right down here. Um, he has solid defense, attack speed. He's just all around. I like him, and I really like his um, his hammer and his gauntlets. So I've practiced with him a lot. And uh, for the sake of this, I'll play just against a random computer. And show off some of the different uh, moves and stuff you can do. So this is just going to start out here. This is just basic. No weapons have dropped or anything like that. Um, you can use A to jump, which is pretty standard in most games. You can get two jumps out of that. Oh, you can get three jumps, sorry. And uh, you also can dodge if you want to. Uh, you use the left and right triggers to dodge. And that can also give you some speed if you're, if you're falling. Um, you can, whenever you land on a wall, it resets. Um, so, like, let's say I use one, two, three. I use all my jumps. I get over to the wall. One, two, three. I get them all back. And then one, two, three, you can dodge. And then you can also use an upswing attack. So you can really get some height if you need it, um, if you're falling down. But the only thing is that if you're falling down, people are going to do everything they can to knock you off. Um, so let's say that I'm trying to get up and people will just stand on the corner here and just try to block me off. And if I cross up over here, they'll do a swing like that. They can also do a down swing like that and just try to kick me. And if they time it right and I'm over here and they kick down right there, um, they'll, they'll shoot me straight down into the ground. Um, the game also has these little drops here. Um, one of them was a bomb. That's just what went away. This one here is just like a little landmine, so you can just throw it, and then if you step on it, you explode. Um, but then these are the two weapons right here, so I can get the gauntlets, or I can get the hammer, and you can also throw your weapon with RB, and just kind of pick it back up with X. 
Um, this also depends on what you're using. You can use a PS4 controller, an Xbox controller, you can use mouse and keyboard if you want to. Um, but I, I prefer the Xbox controller. Um, that's just what I have available to me. Um, so basically the X, X button is going to be your light attacks. On a PS4 controller this will be square. Um, but that's just that's just a standard one right there if you're not holding in any direction. If I'm holding to the left or to the right, it's kind of like a swinging motion. So I can pick her up, grab her, throw her down. Just like that. That's the combo for that. You just pick her up, grab her, throw her down. And then you can down smash her like that. The AI is just going to try to keep hopping back up. So I'm not trying to go for any kills or anything yet. Um, the down smash with X is this right here where I'll just... Oops, I missed it. There we go. And then the up smash is you just hold up and X. And it looks like that's the exact same thing as for uh, the gauntlets. Now you can use Y or triangle for power attacks. And if I were to do this, I'll grab her and throw her. I don't know if she's going to make it back. Yeah, she should be able to. Um, <clears throat> if you hold up, you'll grab her and punch her up in the air. Holding down will create a little... Uh, I'll just slam it to the ground here and knock her back. That does a lot of damage. But that one's hard to hit. So a lot of people... Because if they see you charging up that you're about to hit down, it's not. it doesn't cover a wide range. Like I think right here she's out of the range of it. Yeah, you got to be right up next to them. And a lot of times they'll just literally just turn around and walk away and it's not hard or they can just dodge out of it um, that's another thing that I can't really show um, I can hop into a real game after this and show that but let me actually get the mouse out of here um, I can hop into a real game after that and show dodges and whatnot but against the AI it's kind of hard um, but then I also have oh I picked up gauntlets again I us see if I can get a hammer here yeah so then the, I use the hammer now the hammer moves are completely different if I'm holding for light attacks that's a little light attack combo holding right and left does that holding down uh, just kinda knocks them up in the air so I can do like an easy uh, if I wanted to I can just knock them up and then gotta time it right there it is and I uh, just kinda juggle them a little bit and then for the power attacks uh, I get the big rock swing right there and the hammer does a lot of damage. The hammer is very powerful, um, but it's very slow, so it's hard to hit a lot of combos with this. If you hold down, you do a roll attack into a hammer swing. Holding up, that's the one right there where, um, see, if I hold down with X, it's the pop-up. If I hold up with Y, it's the pop Oops, see, you got to be really close for these, though. It's the pop-up into the swing to help juggle. Um, and then it, just the left and right are exactly the same. I just pick my direction. Um, you can also throw like that using the right bumper um, and other than that that's basically that's how simple the game is it's that's it um, now once you get into more um, once you get into like real gameplay it changes up significantly and uh, you have to use all of your skills but it's at its at its most basic form it's a very simple game you can charge up items and throw them to do a lot of damage and just really send them off there she wasn't even that low her health was pretty high but if you get a full charge uh, throw on somebody, it it can really hurt. Um, but they do need to have some damage on them. So let me see if I can get into a real game here. Oh, and then you just have like your bait. These are the same for pretty much everybody. That's just holding X. Oops. Uh, swinging. If I hold left or right, holding X, it's just a little kick. Down um, is just a slide into them. And then you don't get any light attacks holding up with X. Um, it's only when you do it with Y. So if I want to punch her up in the air, I can do that. If I hold down, it'll be a little leg kick. And then left and right is just like a, a punch where you really put your back into it. Um, so let me back out here and see if I can find a real game and start showing some stuff off here. Um, this game, there's not... A lot of people have like some, some tips and tricks to climbing and things like that. I'm just going to do a um, single-player tournament. I'll just do it against bots, um, just to show off some stuff, but it's, yeah, that's fine. Um, there's not a whole lot of depth to this. It's very, it's like Super Smash Brothers. It's very, like, you know what you're getting yourself into when you play, um, but there are different game modes. This, for example, is uh, everyone starts off with zero. And for every elimination that you get, uh, you get points, and they lose points for dying. So the person at the end that has uh, the most points wins. 
And um, then they also have, for ranked play, everyone gets three lives. And the first person to die three times loses. Um, same thing for the 2v2s. But in the 2v2s, you have to keep in mind that friendly fire is on. So you have to be very careful when playing 2v2s because you have the potential to ruin um, your friend's day if you get them caught into a combo and accidentally knock them off. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was a little combo I did right there where I swung up, picked her up, threw her down, and then I just immediately down smashed like that to knock her off the map. Um, but that's what this basically is. It's just chaining all of your combos and um, just knowing when to hit stuff at what time. So, uh, see, I couldn't corner block her because um, somebody else got in my way. But the game is it's super reliant on timing. You have to have perfect timing and be able to predict what the enemy is going to do. So if you can do that, you're going to be pretty solid at this game. Um, you just have to know your the range of your abilities and things like that. For example, I have the X gap closer. That Not, not everyone has a gap closer. Um, but you just have to um, be aware of what you can and cannot do. So that's why I recommend at the beginning of the game just uh, doing some training. Oh, see, I missed it that time. Doing some training uh, to help you... Um, kind of get a feel for the different weapons that your character is equipped with and knowing that you should be able to um, move over into some multiplayer games fairly quickly um, which I might actually do because the bots aren't a good indicator of anything really um, it's good for like warming up and uh, things like that but other than that it's pretty much just a button mash fest um, like I'm, I'm eight I have eight points right now the person in second has zero so this really isn't a test of anything let me see if i can get a hammer and show some hammer plays they're gonna be up there all right let's see if i can get a big slap smash here so you just gotta time that right get her oh yeah see he cranked me that was a power punch he didn't have a weapon there but he held y and he got that uh that punch i was talking about i don't think i've shown off the bomb so let me see if i can get a solid hit on this Nope, I can't. Damn. I really wanted to because she was low and she would have went flying. Yeah, there she goes. And all right, I'm going to hop into a real game now. So I see if I can <clears throat> show off what it's actually like. I'll do 1v1 strikeout with core. Can't change up. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Can't change up any colors or anything. That's only for team play. Or, uh, wait, what is this? 1v1 strikeout. Okay, I guess in this I get to pick three different champions. Ah, I don't want to play this. Uh, I'll just do ranked. Do a ranked 1v1 with core. There we go. Now I can pick colors. Heat wave action. All right, so let's see how I do. Um, I haven't played this at all today, so if I do poorly, um, it's, I wouldn't be surprised. But I will try my best playing against a Val. She's pretty OP right now. She's one of the uh, the newer um, fighters that have been released. Three, two, one. And we'll see. At the beginning here, it's kind of just like a, a race to get your weapon. She's going to beat me to it. So now i got to try to get mine. And she just tossed hers. I don't know why she decided to toss hers. But now i just got to try to do my best to defend that weapon. So as you can see here, if she's going to come in at me like that, um, she dodged to uh, gap close on me a little bit. So she baited out my dodge, and after that, um, she was able to get a clean hit on me because she knew that I had already burned my dodge. See, she just did it again right there, where she dodged backwards to anticipate my dodge. And I'm just kind of talking right now while I play. I'm not really trying to do anything crazy here. So let me see if I can end up getting her. Whew. Okay. I want my gauntlets. That's what I'm best with. Oh, man. All right, so I'm actually going to try to fight her now. Before, I was just kind of trying to talk a little bit while I was doing some stuff. Oh, see it. That's when that comes back to bite you. Hit her right into the bomb that she threw down. Oh, see, I couldn't get her in that one there. There it is. 
Oh man, see she dodged through that perfectly. That should get it. Come on, get out of here. Really? There it is. Come on. Finally. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, it's a it's a very I didn't show this this either. That there just calls in a little weapon right to you and it knocks anybody down that's in the way. Um, she was on her respawn clock, so uh, it didn't do any damage to her. You get a few seconds of invulnerability when you first respawn. Um, but let me see if I can guard block her off here. No. Um, so you get some some time off uh, when you first respawn, so you can't be hit unless you start attacking first or the timer runs out. Um, so that's why that didn't affect her at all. Ah, oh, see, she beat me there. But yeah, it's it's very. This game is all about knowing how far away you are from the person, knowing how much you can gap close, and uh, just trying to both bait and anticipate what what your opponent's going to do. So I want to see if I can get the get the knockout here. There it is. There's no way she's getting back up. That's one of the hardest things about this game is getting a good timing on your down smashes. Uh, when they are in a position like that where... Oh, God. When um, they're vulnerable off the side, if you can get a heavy hit down on them, especially after they've used like some of their jumps and dodges, you just leave them useless. You, know? you can take them out like that without really even doing much damage to them. Let me see if I can... Oh, crap. I want to see if I can pick this up and show it. There it is. See, she dodged right through it, but... Oof. Um, if you can get a well-timed down smash, you can take them out from full health because they just run out of jumps and dodges and they cannot physically get up. All right, I want to make sure that I win this. Oh! There it is. She's done. That was crazy. I don't know if you guys saw exactly what happened there, but I hit, I threw my hammer. Yeah, I'm a noob. I threw my hammer, hit her off with my fist. She hit the hammer on her way up and then just kept falling down and couldn't get back up. So that's exactly what I was talking about when I'm saying that you can knock people down without really doing a whole lot of damage to them. Sorry about that. My dog started barking a little bit at somebody that was walking by. Um... Anyway, so I think that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to do a really brief overview of the game and kind of show some stuff off like that. If you guys like it, if you guys like watching um, this game, I would have no problem uh, throwing up some videos of me doing ranked and, and things like that and maybe talking about some new things that are coming to the game and everything like that. Like I said, I'm just out of the loop right now. I really just started playing this again. Um, I used to play it a long time ago, but they've added a lot of people since I've last played. So if this is something that you guys are interested in, please feel free to leave a like and a comment and let me know that you guys like watching this. Um, until next time, this is AS Unreal with Gamers Unite. Make sure you check out the website and uh, you stay up to date on all the latest and greatest gaming news. Thanks a lot, guys.